the Bridgewater Triangle, where mystery resides. Deep within Massachusetts, shrouded in mist and shadow, lies a place where the inexplicable lingers. This is the Bridgewater Triangle, one of the most famous paranormal hotspots in the United States. For centuries, this 200-square-mile expanse has been a crucible for strange and unsettling events, a place where people vanish without a trace, where eerie lights dance in the night sky, and where creatures of myth and legend are said to roam. Join us now, as we dare to venture into the Bridgewater Triangle. We will delve into its haunted history, explore its darkest corners, and confront the mysteries that lie within. Hockamock Swamp, Domain of the Pukwudgies Our journey begins in the murky depths of the Hockamock Swamp, a sprawling wetland that forms the heart of the Bridgewater Triangle. Here, amongst the tangled roots and shadowy pools, legend has it that ancient beings hold sway. These are the Pukwudgies, mischievous spirits deeply woven into the fabric of Native American folklore. Often described as small humanoid creatures with gray skin and large glowing eyes, the Pukwudgies are said to be the guardians of the forest. They can be benevolent tricksters or vengeful spirits depending on how they are treated. Encounters with these beings are often characterized by strange sounds, flickering lights, and a feeling of being watched. Some believe the Pukwudgies are responsible for the disappearances that plague the swamp. Stories abound of hikers who wandered off the marked trails, only to vanish without a trace. Their compasses spin wildly, disoriented by unseen forces. The dense undergrowth yields no clues, just an unsettling silence that speaks volumes. Could these disappearances be attributed to the mischievous nature of the Pukwudgies, luring unsuspecting travelers to their doom, or are there darker forces at play within the swamp's depths? As we venture deeper into the Bridgewater Triangle, we leave behind the whispering reeds and shadowy figures of the Hockamock Swamp. The Phantom Hitchhiker of Route 44, A Ride with Destiny Route 44 cuts through the heart of the Bridgewater Triangle, a ribbon of asphalt winding its way through dense forests and sleepy towns, but this seemingly ordinary road harbors a chilling secret, the legend of the Phantom Hitchhiker. Her story is a tragic one, a tale as old as time itself. A young woman dressed in a white gown is said to flag down cars on this desolate stretch of highway. She enters the vehicle, her touch icy cold, and asks to be taken to a nearby town. Then, just as quickly as she appeared, she vanishes into thin air, leaving behind only the faint scent of perfume and a chilling silence. Some say she is the ghost of a young bride who died in a car crash on her wedding day, forever searching for her lost love. Others believe she is a malevolent spirit, luring unsuspecting motorists to their doom. One particularly chilling account tells of a truck driver who picked up the hitchhiker on a stormy night. She sat beside him, her face pale and drawn, and spoke of a terrible accident that had occurred on that very road. As they approached the spot where she claimed the accident had happened, the truck driver glanced over to find the passenger seat empty. Whether a restless spirit or a figment of our collective imagination, the phantom hitchhiker of Route 44 remains one of the most enduring legends of the Bridgewater Triangle. The Bigfoot and Cryptid Sightings, Primates of the Paranormal The Bridgewater Triangle is not just a haven for restless spirits and phantom hitchhikers. It is also said to be home to creatures that defy explanation, creatures that blur the line between myth and reality. Among the most intriguing of these cryptids is the Bigfoot, a large, ape-like creature that has been sighted within the Triangle's borders for decades. Eyewitness accounts describe a massive, hairy humanoid standing over seven feet tall, with glowing red eyes and a deafening roar that echoes through the forest. In 1978, two police officers on patrol in Freetown reported seeing a similar creature crossing the road in front of their car. Their encounter sparked a wave of sightings and cemented the Bridgewater Triangle's reputation as a hotbed of cryptid activity. Footprints, too large to belong to any known animal, have been found in the area, adding further fuel to the fire. Some believe the Bigfoot is a relic of a bygone era, a surviving Gigantopithecus, long thought extinct. Whatever its true nature, the Bigfoot of the Bridgewater Triangle continues to capture our imaginations, reminding us that there are still mysteries in this world that science cannot explain. Chapter 4. UFOs and Alien Encounters – Visitors from Beyond the Stars as we gaze up at the night sky from within the Bridgewater Triangle, we are struck by a profound sense of wonder. The stars seem to twinkle brighter here, the vastness of the cosmos feels closer, more palpable. It is perhaps no surprise then that this region has become a focal point for reports of unidentified flying objects. 
or UFOs. From strange lights dancing among the stars to disc-shaped objects hovering silently in the night sky, the Bridgewater Triangle has witnessed a staggering number of UFO sightings over the years. One of the most compelling cases occurred in 1968, when multiple witnesses reported seeing a glowing disc-shaped object hovering over nearby Taunton. The object, estimated to be at least 60 feet in diameter, remained visible for several minutes before silently shooting off into the night. Some believe these sightings are evidence of extraterrestrial visitors, drawn to the region for reasons unknown. Could the Bridgewater Triangle be a beacon for beings from other worlds, a portal to dimensions beyond our comprehension? The truth as always remains elusive, but the sheer number of UFO sightings within the Triangle is hard to ignore. Chapter 5. The Murder of the Demon of Abington. When Darkness Took Hold. The Bridgewater Triangle is not just a place of strange lights and mysterious creatures, it is also a place where darkness has truly taken hold, where the evil that men do casts a long shadow over the land. In the annals of the Triangle's dark history, few stories are as chilling as the case of Tony Costa, the self-proclaimed Demon of Abington. In the late 1960s, Costa terrorized the small town of Abington, claiming the lives of eight young women in a series of brutal murders. His crimes shocked the community, and sent waves of fear through the region. But it was the rumors surrounding Costa's motives that truly sent chills down the spines of locals. Costa claimed to have been involved in occult practices, and some believe his killings were part of satanic rituals. Whether these were the ravings of a madman, or the chilling pronouncements of a man truly possessed remains a matter of debate. Whatever the truth may be, Costa's crimes cast a dark pall over the Bridgewater Triangle, a grim reminder that evil can lurk in the most unexpected of places. Chapter 6. The Lizzie Borden House, Echoes of a Bloody Past Our journey through the Bridgewater Triangle brings us finally to the town of Fall River, home to one of the most infamous unsolved mysteries in American history, the Lizzie Borden Axe Murders of 1892. While not technically within the Triangle's borders, the Borden case shares an eerie resonance with the unexplained events that plague this region. The gruesome details of the murders are well documented, Andrew and Abby Borden brutally hacked to death in their own home. Their daughter Lizzie was the prime suspect but despite circumstantial evidence, she was acquitted of the crimes. Some believe that Lizzie Borden driven to madness by the pressures of her life committed the murders in a fit of rage. Others speculate that she was possessed by a malevolent entity, a creature drawn to the darkness that festered within the Borden home. Whatever the truth may be, the Lizzie Borden House stands as a stark reminder of the darkness that can reside within the human heart. Beyond the edge where mysteries linger. The Bridgewater Triangle is a place of enduring mystery, a place where the lines between fact and fiction blur, and where the unexplained holds sway. From the depths of the Hockamock Swamp to the lonely stretches of Route 44, we have encountered creatures of myth and legend, delved into unsolved mysteries, and confronted the darkest corners of human nature. The stories we have shared are just a glimpse into the rich tapestry of strangeness that defines this enigmatic region. But more than just tales of the paranormal, they serve as reminders of the vast unknown that still exists in our world. They remind us that there are forces at play beyond our comprehension. Mysteries that continue to challenge our understanding of the universe and our place within it. What do you think about these supernatural mysteries in the Bridgewater Triangle? Are they real or just part of someone's vivid imagination? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Beyond the Edge mysteries. Join us as we continue to explore the unexplained, to delve into the mysteries that lie just beyond the edge of our perception.